this is a situation where we're given a magnetic bearing and the declination and what we want to find is the true bearing. To set this problem up, we'll start and we'll create true north, we'll put a double arrow and true north will always be straight. Then we're going to put in the declination. I'm going to exaggerate the angle just a little bit so we can see it okay. So the declination is 10 degrees east. Maybe it's something like this. We'll put a single headed arrow, label it magnetic north, and we'll note that this angle is 10, 0, 0. Now the angle in question or excuse me, the bearing in question is south 45, so let's draw that in roughly to scale. So there it is, it's about 45. I'll put a circle on the end of this line so we know it's the line in question. And now, let's draw in what we know. Let's see, we're given, we put in uh, declination. What we need is magnetic south. So magnetic south is just going to be a continuation down from magnetic north, something like that. So this is magnetic south. And this angle remains 10. And now the only trick, the only thing uh, we have to put in is where does the south 4530 go? Well, the south 40, southwest 4530, the magnetic bearing, so it is measured from magnetic south. So this angle is 4530. There, the true bearing is going to equal 4530 plus, because the true is measured from true south, plus 10, so it's 55, 30, and it is still in the southwest quadrant.